Thacker versus Tennessee Valley Authority is a case about a fisherman who got hurt out on the water. He blames the Tennessee Valley Authority, which has supervision over the waterway, for causing his accident. The Tennessee Valley Authority was replacing some conductor power lines that stretch over and across the river. One of those lines fell into the water. That obviously creates a hazard for boaters. The TVA knew that. They contact the Coast Guard, which is their emergency protocol. The TVA also has a couple of patrol boats that come in the area. Thacker and Shazda come in at about 60 miles an hour, hit this conductor line that's now just been lifted above the water line. The line strikes the console, whips up, takes off Thacker's hat and sunglasses, and spins him with a torque that he alleges caused a spinal injury. The line nearly decapitates Shazda kills him instantly from blunt force trauma to the neck. The TVA Act says broadly that the TVA is an entity that can sue and be sued. Thacker wants to engage that interpretation. Be sued, it means be sued. The TVA says no, in fact that we have discretionary function immunity against lawsuit liability. And that's where we get into the issues that lead us to the United States Supreme Court. Discretionary function immunity was a big exception built into the statute of the Federal Tort Claims Act in 1946. Discretionary function immunity says, more or less, that the government has to be able to have the latitude to be able to make a choice between different viable options. So when government makes policy, someone is not allowed to bring a private lawsuit and say, I don't like your decision. I disagree with your decision. The TVA is excluded from the FTCA. However, discretionary function immunity was read into the earlier 1933 sue and be sued language, not just for the TVA, but for all kinds of entities that were created during the New Deal. So Thacker's best argument in this case is to say essentially that the text of the statute controls, and that is that the 1933 TVA Act says simply that this creature can sue and be sued. It doesn't qualify that in any way. And then you come to the FTCA in 1946, and that statute on its text says the TVA is excluded from this statute. So Thacker says this is a straight up, simple question of statutory interpretation. The broad immunity of discretionary function under the FTCA was never given to entities like the TVA. And so I should be allowed to go forward with my lawsuit. Now, advocates on Thacker's side would say that the use of discretionary function immunity insulates the TVA from liability, for responsibility for its decisions. I mean, Thacker says, look, if something is mundane, if something is ordinary, on the ground, nuts and bolts, as how do we get this wire out of the water and back into the air, if that can be discretionary policy making at the highest level, how do we hold an entity like the TVA accountability? Now the TVA says, no, no, no. We have all kinds of accountability. It just happens not to be the kind you want. You want civil litigation to have the courts second guessing the decisions we make, looking over our shoulders in those decisions. And that's so burdensome to what we do for the people that you're gonna interfere with the functioning of government in an excessive an inappropriate way. The Tennessee Valley Authority is arguing in essence that it needs a broad range of discretionary immunity in order to do what it does. Although it is excluded from the Federal Tort Claims Act of 1946, the Federal Tort Claims Act nonetheless describes what Congress wants that discretionary function immunity to look like today. 